Hey, thanks for being a Weldmonger store customer. I got a good one for you today. This is TIG welding stainless steel pipe, root and hot pass. So we're gonna talk about bridge tacks versus penetrated tacks, purging, plenty of good arc shots and techniques on the root and the hot pass, and also a practice joint at the end if you've never welded pipe and kind of just need to get your hand in it. Let's weld. On stainless steel pipe, penetrated tacks need a purge. An easy way to do that is with a dual flow meter. Otherwise, you'll need an additional cylinder of argon. For some fittings, some applications, you can fashion a purge device where you don't have to purge out the entire pipe like this. I've just immediately got a purge without having to tape off the ends or anything, but that's not always possible. That's where bridge tacks come in. These are penetrated tacks where you penetrate the sharp edge of the bevel and with stainless steel, you got to have a purge, so it kind of takes time to do that. That's the benefit of bridge tacks. Bridge tacks look like this, where the weld is just bridged over the thick part of the bevel and you never penetrate the sharp part of the inside of the bevel. Bridge tacks are mainly beneficial, mainly used on stainless, but not limited to stainless. I've got around 20 CFH of argon flow to where a licked finger feels cool, and so we're ready to weld. I've got a 1 8 gap with a 1 8 filler rod and I'm using lay wire technique keeping just a little bit of pressure on that rod so if it needs it it'll take it and I'm trying to go forward and back not much side to side motion I'm keeping a fairly tight arc and I'm using about 94 amps the amperage is going to depend on a lot of things number one being the gap number two being the angle of the bevel and if you have any land at all that's going to change it I prefer a feathered edge no land. I'm freehanding this with a TIG finger. You could also do this walking the cup. What you want to do with walking the cup though is limit your side to side motion. Just, just a slight wiggle. Keep that tip of that electrode really pointed on the filler wire. You can go a good bit hotter on the hot pass but to play it safe I just bumped it up to 100 amps. Still using 8th inch thick wire. It's been a good many years since I've done a joint like this, so I'm not really comfortable. I don't really have my speed up, so 100 amps is doing it just fine. And it's pretty safe that I'm not going to melt through or suck back. Still, I don't want to hang around that middle too long. I'm not bouncing from side to side, but I'm also just not crawling from side to side either. I'm just pausing for, I don't know, just a, a, a moment at the toes of the weld, making sure everything wets in. I'm keeping my torch angle kick back just a little bit and I'm pointing upward a little bit. As long as you keep your arc length fairly tight and consistent, the torch angle can be really forgiving. I've got it leaned back quite a bit here, trying to stay out of the way of the camera. It's still working. You want to use a nice clean stainless steel wire brush on stainless steel. This is already brushed. Inside of the root shows a pretty decent purge, but I probably could have used just a little bit more flow rate and maybe let it purge just a little bit longer. If you've never done any stainless pipe before, a root and a hot pass on stainless on a stainless T-joint will kind of give you an idea on how it flows. This is from an earlier video, but I sped it up and shortened it, so there's no fluff here. The first pass, I'm at 150 amps using a 332 electrode and a 332 filler metal. Lay wire looks a little bit like that root on the pipe, doesn't it? In the original video, I compared this freehand technique here to walking the cup. And if you want to see that, I'll link it up right here. But this is just gliding along with a TIG finger, just like you would on the root pass of a stainless pipe. I used a number six cup with a gas lens for that pass. For the second pass, weaving over top of that, I switched over to a Jazzy 10 ceramic with about 20 to 25 CFH argon. The technique and the motion here is just almost identical to the hot pass on that pipe you just watched. One difference being this can handle a whole lot more heat than the pipe uh, hot pass can, so I'm at 150 amps here. In my career, it was not nearly as common to weld structural stainless steel as it was to weld stainless pipe, but it is done. And I have done it in fab shops that I worked at where we made stands for equipment that had to be corrosion resistant. So it was, you know, two and three inch angle iron, quarter inch wall thickness, three eighths wall thickness. We made fillet welds like this all the time. And it's kind of fun. 
Stainless steel does love argon, and this Jazzy 10 provides a nice blanket of argon coverage. Gives you a nice, shiny rainbow weld when you're done. Can't beat it. At Wellmonger.com, we've got your Jazzy 10 kits. We've got two packs. We also sell singles if you just want to try one out or are curious. We've got a full supply of tungsten and TIG filler rod. New products being added weekly. If you're looking for quality welding gear, shopweldmonger.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.